Bye guys, I went there again. Solomon, it's tails number. Oh, I've lost count. Is it seven, eight? Oh well, you'll work it out from the number on the screen. <laughs> Solomon's, uh, he's on, on for a really good day today. He's just had a girl in the hotel, spent the night with him. He's gone down for a walk on the beach, had a drink. He's gone in a massage shop and got extras. And he's just come out of there, come across the road to this place called Lolita's, where he was sat at the front with all these girls, having a drink. The owner comes out, or manager, manager, Ross or Russ or something. It's just challenged him to something to do with snooker inside. It's all enclosed the front of this bar and he can't see what's inside. So in he goes with Ross, Russ. And inside it's just all dark. There's a, a little bit of a bar on the right and a, a cashier. There's no tables or chairs in there, but over to the left hand side is a rubbish six foot snooker table, like kiddie's snooker table. <sighs> and a few pictures on the wall, and I can see a staircase. And what on earth is this place? What is it? Okay, and Ross then says, Right, set the balls up on this table. You break off, you've got to pot any ball, keep potting. If you miss, you lose a life, you, after you lose three lives, that's it. You have to pay me a hundred baht to play this game. If you win, you get a free ticket. If you lose, you lose hundred baht. And he's like, well, free ticket for what? And he says, ah, oh, I'll tell you, it's worth it. Go on, have a game. And he's like, well, I still don't know what this bar is. And he thinks, oh, okay, a kid can clear this table, it's easy. And this Russ, uh, no one ever manages it. Everyone fails. Okay. So Solomon breaks off. Ball goes straight in the pocket. Knocks a couple of balls in. Doesn't miss. This Russ is like, <laughs> no one's ever done it, or very rare. Solomon clears the table. But the balls are rolling in the pocket. The table's off. They're just falling. He didn't even miss a shot. I mean, it was just, there wasn't a full set of balls either. And this Russ is, ah, and Solomon clears the table, wins. And he put 100 baht on the table to play, and the guy kept the 100 baht. And he said, oh, I thought I'd pay 100 and you give. No, he said, we keep the 100 baht, but you got a free ticket. He said, no one's ever cleared it like that. And he's like, Solomon's feeling great. He says, oh, this is my lucky day. And he says, right, pick a girl. And uh, Solomon's like, that's my free ticket, pick a girl. Yeah, you know, God, I've just had a massage. And it turns out this bar is one of those oral evacuation bars. Goes out, picks a girl again, middle, probably 40 year old, not slim, not overweight, pretty. Grabs his hand up the stairs, and again, it's the same the dentist curtains all along them but instead of mats on the floor it's like chaise long like a two-seater settee with an armrest at one and not the other she takes him in sits him down closes the curtains oral evacuation actually turns out to be more aerobics um the girl had got so excited that it <sighs> more aerobics but no money was requested. I mean, he's like Superman today. <laughs> he's, 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 what's going on must have been from that tablet the other day he took. Oh my God. Anyway, 20 minutes, half hour later, all finished, shower. Again, she, in the shower, washes him. But he'd won this. <laughs> He won the oral evacuation in the competition. <laughs> That's funny. He, he gives the girl, give a 500 baht tip. Um, come down the stairs and this Russ guy is like, well, we, you won the ticket. We'd like you to come back again tomorrow because I want to win <laughs> and not lose. And this is normally a 700 baht service. And so I was like, mm, okay, oh, you've had 100 baht off me. I've just given her 500, but I'm not going to tell you because <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. And he's like, okay. Um, pays his 80 baht, whatever, for the beer. 
off he goes out the door and all the girls outside are all yay and the girls across the road at the massage are all cheering as well dead embarrassing for him but what a morning and it's not even lunchtime yet <laughs> he's thinking oh my god what on earth welcome to Hua Hin yeah and he thinks I've got to get some food got to get some food he's exhausted turns right walks along the road looking in all the bars and there's it's all mainly bars along there you notice this is just around the corner there's a really big bar looks quite lively even though it's not a really open turns left along food where are you eating the night before with the hotel girl into there grab some food and he has some food fantastic pretty tired he thinks I think I'll go back to the hotel have a nap maybe have another swim get ready for a bit later I need a, a break <laughs> off he goes back to the hotel of course he walks in and the two girls are still there it's sort of lunch time they're on a split shift I think they work the mornings till lunch and then in the afternoon maybe four to eight Maybe they work in the morning till 12 and this this was just 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 after 12 I think he comes back in grabs his keys walks around the corner and the girl that's the loud girl looks like she said something to the other girl and she starts walking off she's got got changed finished work what happens the little girl grabs his arm pulls him off towards his hotel room again and he's like whoa what's going on and in the door hotel room and he oh no she's on a split shift she probably doesn't want to go all the way home so she was just going to spend a couple of hours here before she starts work again yeah he's exhausted already he got oh she takes him in his room pulls the curtain locks the door yeah oh, in the shower and he's oh he can't handle this anyway he thinks i'm gonna Where's that other half pill? I'm going to craftily sneak that. I'm going to need some help. <laughs> but it takes an hour to work, apparently. Oh. Anyway, she comes out of the shower and he's like looking around his bag and he goes back in there, pops the half pill, water. That's half a Viagra type look. Three hours later, Superman, he's starting to fall asleep. She's up, getting dressed, going out the door. Leaves the door open. Or well, doesn't lock it, but closes it. Off she's gone again. He's absolutely beat. Again, she's not asked for any money. And he's oh, exhausted, totally wrecked. And he's like, oh, sleep. And this now is about five o'clock. He doesn't wake up. He's absolutely exhausted, doesn't wake up. Come about eight o'clock at half eight. Knock on the door. And I, oh, and he gets up, oh, looks through the curtains, it's that girl again with the blonde streak. Yeah, opens the door. She goes, food, food. And, oh, what? <laughs> so he calls her in. Quick shower, put some clothes on. She's finished work, he slept right through her second shift. Off she goes again with him. It's eight on in the evening. Goes down different restaurant. He decides a bit further on the right is a posher restaurant. It looks really nice. Goes in there. They order some food. Lovely food. It's cost him about six hundred baht for the meal. Really nice. And he thinks now, oh, I just can't face going back to the hotel. I've been in and out the hotel today. I don't want to go back to that. I want to go and have a few quiet beers in a bar. It's just so he says to this girl, "I'm going drinking, and then I'm going to go sleep. You bugger off, sort of thing. You go away." And I, she understood. She sort of ah uh, yeah yeah yeah, and she said goodbye. Off she walked, and he thought, "Toe Thai women aren't that easy. What's what?" Off she goes, and he's like, fantastic. Oh, brilliant. He can relax now, go and have some beers. 
So he just pays the uh, food bill. Loads of bars. He noticed that really busy one down the road. So he's going to head down there and have a look. Seems to be the biggest one there. And he wanders down. There's about 20 girls in this bar. A lot of them are older girls, 30 plus. Pool table, good music. And he goes in there and he spends a few hours, a few drinks. He buys a few lady drinks to the girls. There's a great crowd in there. Really good, but not many customers, but it's a good crowd. One little, again, little girl. He's really takes a shine to this little girl, really nice girl, great looking girl. And he thinks, oh, my poor old body, he said, but she's so beautiful, so beautiful. He thinks, why not, why not? That pill's still working. <laughs> he pays the bar fine, it's 300 baht. Tells the girl, well, he doesn't even tell her a short time, a long time, he just sort of, how much? And she just says a thousand baht. She doesn't say short, long time. A couple of hours or all night. I think, pff, off they go. Back to the hotel. Security guard gives him his keys. At least that means there's no one in his room waiting for him. Oh, well, that could have been a problem. Gives him his keys. Big grin from the security guard. He's got this girl in tow. Off to the room. Fabulous night. Again. The girls stayed all night. Fantastic night. Pretty good. What a day he's had. You know, incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, he's come down from Bangkok and he's been in Hua Hin now over a day. This is like the second night, is it? He's already been there. Two nights? I thought he was only going to stop one night. Well, it's night again, he's staying. Got this other girl. Oh. oh he's got to make a move. He wants to get to Phuket. Wakes up in the morning. Quite early. I mean, he's had quite a bit of sleep now, even though he's exhausted. Girl's still there. She decides that she wants to give him a um, morning bonus bit of a massage in the morning then they have a shower girls gets dressed gives her a thousand baht and he gives her a couple hundred baht extra tip because she was a great girl great massage and he thinks I'll go to breakfast so he opens the door out she goes he goes out with her locks the door girl wanders straight past the breakfast area and he's heading into the breakfast area off goes the girl sits down and he had forgotten the girl with the blondish hair that he'd been staying with and she's in front of him she's watched this girl come out of his room and go off and she stood right in front of him and it's breakfast time and he hadn't even thought about it the consequences he could face here oh dear this girl has just seen him with another girl after he told the girl from the breakfast that go home last night I just want a quiet night and a few beers oh dear what happens next Phew. shall I tell you or should we wait to the next one let's wait to the next one I think it'd be better <laughs> and it's soon time for him to move off out to, uh, towards Phuket yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. I can't remember what number it is, but there's another one. Bye for now.